couldn't look away from the train wreck. You can blame it on the tech or the disrespect before you play better button check. Button check. What is up, everybody? We are back to a brand new year, 2019, a whole new year of checking them buttons, bogus journeys, comedy sketches. We got it all right now. We got so many things in the works. But you know what? Before we drift off into a whole nother subject, we got these New Year's Eve 2019 buttons to check. Let's go. Okay, so before we get into the background of all of this, because there actually was a lot of drama building up to this, there's a lot of streamers on Twitch were very pissed off about the way Twitch was handling this whole New Year's Eve celebration with Ninja, pretty much feeling like they were taking the spotlight away from them and putting all the shine on him. And we'll also get into how Ninja felt about this because just yesterday, TMZ actually interviewed Ninja leaving New York and kind of asked him about why nobody was really feeling the floss. But of course, before we get into all that, let's watch this quick clip of Ninja hosting at the New Year's Eve event and when he was actually trying to get the audience to floss. All right, everybody, let's get it. They're about to put some floss music on. It's actually drizzling outside a little bit. Sort of like, a, let's count down, let's do some flossing from Ninja, let's get people into it. Hype, you know what I'm saying? 2019, New Year's Eve. All right, he starts flossing. This girl next to him is yelling, okay, got the young ladies flossing next to him. Now they got people planted in the audience with cameras on them already, like, you guys floss, right? But nobody around them is flossing. Now he's gonna go to the crowd, get it hyped. He's like, show me what you got, everybody. I'm not seeing enough movement. Oh my god. Not that big. Okay, we got two people. We got the guy that they have in the audience. Alright. We put an amazing song. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Awesome job, everyone. Thanks, Ninja. And all right, you guys, you, you actually have a live stream to be back to. I actually you? do, I do, but yeah. I, real quick, I want to get a big picture with, yeah, uh, with the course. crowd, do if you it. guys don't mind. Do so like they said, he has a live stream. He's at, on the side there, they actually have a studio where he's doing a live stream on top of all this. Check out Ninja, go to twitch.com. And then right here, they give a shout out to his channel. And right here, we'll take a look at the video from TMZ where they pretty much ran up on Ninja. You know how they do. They ran up on Ninja trying to get a quick interview as he was leaving the hotel. It's insane, though. I, well, how was the vibe? I mean, I watched it on TV. On the, on the actual stream? Yeah, because I saw you trying to dance. No, well, oh, you okay. dance. Listen, that was the most awkward thing in the world, all right? <laughs> if you were trying to get a million New Yorkers to dance in ponchos, freezing in the rain, dude, yeah. I had a moment where I was just like, oh, man, I should, I should, I should just say something. It's completely different <laughs> than the floss and dancing, but you know what? I tried my best, man. I was sweating my, not sweating, but I was just drenched in rain, man. It was, it, but you did a great job. I tried my best, man. You had fun, and I think that's the that's best all that matters, part about dude. it. I hate to tell you this, Ninja, but just like a dentist, no matter how many times you would have told them sons of bitches, they wasn't going to floss. Well, at least it seemed like Ninja had a good sense of humor about it, right? He recognized what was going on. He was like, yo, nobody's dancing. Even right here when he's talking about the stats and everything and he goes on to say, we had over 150K current viewers for 12 hours and peaked at 266,000. And to that, people say, yeah, but they didn't dance though. And Ninja says, nope, haha. <laughs> so obviously he had a good sense of humor. He saw what happened and he's able to laugh about it himself. And one of the reasons why this was such a big deal is because the way Twitch handled it, a lot of people did not appreciate the way Twitch built it up because like, yo, we want to advertise Ninja, his New Year's Eve big, huge stream that we're going to back up. And to do that, we're going to take all these ads or commercials about the event and put it on all these other streamers' channels. A lot of other streamers saw that and they were completely turned off and they were pissed off like, yo, why are you using my channel to advertise a completely different channel? Dr. Disrespect responded to this as well saying, Dear Twitch, get these ugly looking New Year's Eve ad rolls off my page. Don't ever do it again either, ever. Then others pretty much saw from a different perspective and said it's not Ninja's fault at all. Right here they break it down saying, number one, Twitch knew this would not go well with streamers and the community and did it anyway. Number two, don't blame Ninja, this is on Twitch and Red Bull. Number three, this will likely not bring any new viewers or exposure to Twitch. Number four, this will not hurt streamers' channels. So there was definitely people that felt like this, but at the end of the day there was a whole lot of people that continued to be very vocal about saying this was in bad taste, it was very disrespectful, and it shouldn't be done like this where they felt like they were losing viewers or steering away from their channels. And then Ninja pretty much responds to all of this saying, this event is going to be broadcasted to millions of people and will continue to grant exposure to Twitch, which will in turn allow streamers to gain more viewers. What's not to like, or is it just because it's me? And there it is, everybody. Definitely let me know what you think about this. Question number one, is Flossing dead? Should we put that baby to bed right about now? You saw the way the crowd reacted to him, and I love the responses online. People were like, yo, that crowd was dead, and others were like, nah, it's not that they were dead, it's just everybody was older than 
2018. And as far as me, I think flossing is gonna stay in 2018. You know what I'm saying? I think in 2019, it's gonna die real quick. You might see a few people do it here and there, but I'm pretty sure that in 2019 with flossing, it's a wrap. And question number dose, do you think the way that Twitch put Ninja's New Year's Eve ads on other people's stream to drive traffic there, do you think that was a dirty move? Do you think it was done in bad taste where it actually could hurt other people's viewers? Or do you think there was something like they were saying, that's business 101, that's advertising 101, that's what people usually do, especially for big events. Definitely let me know what you think about this. See you bright early tomorrow morning on time when we continue to check these 2019 buttons, y'all. See you soon. Peace. Blah, 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 subscribe. Look, you can't just start a random floss at any old time. You gotta wait for the right moment. But how am I going to know when it's the right moment? Oh. You'll know.